Hello everyone, Adam here with AZ Premier GK, and today we are going to take a look at the West Coast Kona Surge Goalkeeper Glove. The Kona Surge is a striking looking all-weather glove from West Coast GK, and it has been worn in the past by professionals such as Zach Lubin, who now plays with Phoenix Rising FC in the USL. And it has also been worn by Sammy Injok, the Cameroonian national team keeper that used to play with Minnesota United in the USL and now plays professionally in Finland. So let's take a quick look at the West Coast Kona Surge and then we'll get into the full review. The West Coast Kona Surge comes equipped with 4mm of German Supreme all-weather latex. This is arranged on what West Coast calls their bio-hybrid cut, which is a combination of a maximizer cut and roll finger cut with a double-wrapped thumb, which is a very unique cut that provides a very wide gripping area. The backhand of the Kona Surge is covered with 3mm of super soft German latex. This latex is embossed, and the backhand does include four flexibility points built in by West Coast for, to increase range of motion of the glove. The backhand also has West Coast's strike guard punch zone, which West Coast say they developed and placed where the goalkeepers strike the ball over 90% of the time when punching it. This glove also has removable finger saves, four finger removable finger saves. The wrist entry is an elasticated wrist entry, and the wrist closure is a latex wrist strap with personalization zone. Let's just take a little look at the glove, and then we'll get into the full review. The first feature that I noticed about the West Coast Kona Surge is the biohybrid cut. This unique hybrid cut keeps your hands in a natural catching position uh, due to the wide nature of the cut. So once you get the glove on, your hand is already in that position with your fingers spread and ready to catch the ball. This is definitely not a tight fitting glove, but nor is it too loose. I would say it's right there in the middle, definitely more of a, a medium type fit. And it also fits true to size, I'd say, with or without the finger saves. I did try the glove on with the finger saves. I wore the glove in practice and games without the finger saves because I am not a finger save keeper. But in or out, I'd say the glove fits true to size. I would not go up a size or anything if you're thinking about using the finger saves in the glove. This glove is also very comfortable once you get it on, and that's due to the memory foam lining in the backhand that West Coast includes in all their gloves, uh, which you definitely feel more with the finger saves out of the glove. As far as getting the glove on and off, the elasticated wrist strap makes that process fairly simple. Um, I love elasticated wrist straps, uh, easy to get the glove on and off, and as far as support goes, uh, the wrist strap definitely offers a, a moderate amount of support, uh, and it's not a wrist strap that you're going to have to readjust much during the game with multiple, multiple Velcro closure points. And also, obviously, with the finger saves in, there is a lot more support to the backhand. With the finger saves out, I would say a uh, moderate amount of support again. Um, this is a fairly um, thick uh, and heavy glove. Uh, even without the finger saves, uh, just due to the size of it, the cut, uh, the latex on the backhand. This is a relatively uh, large size glove and it does have some weight to it. Uh, not to say that weight is a problem, it's not like extremely heavy or anything. And with a micro mesh lining, uh, there is a decent amount of ventilation uh, in the backhand as well as in the gussets. And that micro mesh material does uh, take some weight away as well. The strike guard punch zone on the backhand is a very unique um, punch zone. It's actually 
only kind of on the knuckles of the two middle fingers and west coast uh, actually did some research and they found that this is where 95 percent of goalkeepers or 95 percent of strikes that goalkeepers make when punching the ball um contact the ball so that's why they put the punch zone there uh, this is a relatively small size punch zone um, that you see uh, compared with most gloves, where the punch zone can sometimes go all the way across the backhand and up the fingers, and down on the knuckles. But I would say, although small, this punch zone is definitely effective. It is a harder uh, punch zone, more akin to a plastic than like a silicone rubber. rubber. And uh, it's very effective. Um, when punching the ball, it strikes it right on and does provide a little extra when you're giving the ball that punch. All right, now let's get into what, as far as I'm concerned, West Coast gloves are known for, and that is the 4 millimeters of German Supreme All-Weather Latex. Simply put, this latex is sticky. It provides excellent grip. I'd say one of the, it, the German Supreme All-Weather Latex that West Coast uses is bar none one of the, the top grips on the market uh, that you can get anywhere it is amazing uh pre wash or not i pre-wash my gloves but i have had west close gloves where i just strap them on straight out of the bag and play it is sticky either way it's up to you pre-wash no pre-wash this latex provides excellent grip superb grip supreme confidence when you put these gloves on especially with the biohybrid cut i love that wide cut excellent grip these gloves are confidence in a bag and even with the large size of the glove, the flex points uh, on the backhand uh, do make these gloves uh, relatively um, mobile and flexible. Obviously, that's a little different with the finger saves in. Um, you'll get a little more rigidity there to the backhand, a little harder to move your fingers, but that's entirely up to you whether you want to leave the finger saves in or not. I take them out. And for a glove of this size and mass, um, it's actually very flexible uh, without the finger saves in, and that's what I love. So just to wrap everything up, West Coast Kona Surge, extremely good grip, extremely wide, confidence-inspiring cut, uh, a little bit on the heavier side of a glove, but still moderately flexible, uh, easy to get on and off, uh, tons of backhand support, especially with the finger saves in, moderate wrist support, and also, I forgot to mention this, durability is off the charts, these gloves last a very long time. And in the $65 to $75 price range, it'll be very hard to find a better glove. I'm Adam for AZ Premier GK. That's my review. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And also, I would love to hear any comments if you have them. It's Adam with AZ Premier GK, and I'll see you next time.